Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Max's Modded Let's Play. In today's episode, hopefully, I think it goes smoothly. This recording has not been going the best lately. So, like I say, like eh, recording has not has not been going the best. The world has crashed on me multiple times. I've had to actually reopen a previous save. Luckily, since I've had recordings, I've cut us up. There is some of the off-camera stuff, so like the grindstone and a few other bits that are new. But I cannot help that. For some reason, the recording's been bugged out, which has really annoyed me. And then at one point, the world got corrupted. I'm just glad I had a backup save. What you can see me making here is some of the things I wanted to cover since last episode. I think. Or I'm probably jumping well and truly here again. Oh yeah, that's right, I am. Whoops. Huh, never mind. I'll bullshit you down here because I have done a tiny bit of work. All of this, where well, I'm getting confused, is I cannot record, uh, show the other footage, but in it I made the alloy smelter. We made the grindstone, and we worked on first energetic alloy. Down here, I moved the generators kind of area to here, because I feel like it's going to be actually better. Got a crafting area, which I went through the process of making said item so up here you can see we've got the grindstone quartz grindstone let's move to cobble any type of quartz so you've got charged never or serious coloured stone or just normal stone and a wooden gear so it's a free stone one wooden gear Three quartz into cobblestone. I'm going for the uh, alloy uh, smelter. It's cobblestone for the furnaces, iron for the cauldron, four iron for there. You need six iron for the iron bars. You can always chuck the iron bars in the smeltery to smelt them back down. And then for the capacitor, which I have shown in the previous episode, four gold nuggets, one copper, and two redstone. Anyway, as well as that, I also got an ender lily seed from my chest. Probably could just if I press T over it. Oh, I do have another one. Do I need more ender pearls? No. That's depressing. We got a compressed mob out there. Which one's that? That is a skelly. No, no, not dealing with the first F yet. So, oh yeah, I need to play some duck. Come on. Oh, where are you gonna go? Where are you going to go? There's another one over there. Oh, there's the end of the I'm gonna have guys coming over to me as well. died on camera so we have our first death 
Ooh. Now that's a very different plot twist. So. Luckily all my items are in the gravestone. I need to make a sign. Seriously, there. I was going right past it. Probably screaming at your screen. There's wood in that chest. So then. It was. Uh, no. Latest death. Add it. Okay, so today's date. Is the second or the second twenty? seeds but you can only place it on certain blocks it was a risk doing that right as well as that you I will delete oh delete because we have it saved I'm surprised we've actually had our first death. I did not expect it to be so early on. I thought it would be more when we were killing the Ender Dragon. Or messing around in the Nether. But anyway. The reason I got two dirt is because I got two Ender Lily seeds. I probably should make my base a bit safer. No, me, that it's probably going to be the best way to go to make it a bit more safer. I just need these slabs. Don't need a lot. I head up here and out this door. All I have to do is I go around the bottom there, like so. Blah. Too many. By doing this, this makes it so zombies, etc., cannot get up to me. I only have to go as far as I need to, so I don't have to go no further. But I go an extra block just to be on the cautious side. But as well as that, I need to grab the dirt and the ender lily seed to come up here to the top. Well, not to the top, but those will grow me some under pearls. And let's have a look. We got pumpkin and jailer's fur in it. Decent. I'm just going to grab this as well. If I press F7, it shows me the light level indicator. Which then allows me to light up the area so no mobs will spawn up here. Now, if I go into this 
Sonntag, was ist das Sache? Just enjoying this at the moment. So, first death to an Enderman. Not surprising. No, I'm actually quite impressed, really. If I was concentrating, that wouldn't have happened. Me being me, I just got carried away and. Completely not numb now. Just forgot to check my back. Even though I've also got a mini map, I still forgot to check. So, in the previous, uh, well, when I say previous, in the rec failed recordings, I was trying to get a vibrant alloy. Clears my inventory up a bit. So I need the glowstone, the redstone, and I need the end pole, the shovel. That should be everything I need. So, just for quickness, I've been doing it this way. Well, we'll be doing it this way. Because I've got buildcraft in the pack, and it makes it so much easier. So, it takes nine gold, nine redstone. And no glowstone to make an energetic alloy. And then I wanted to get to Vi Vibrant Alloy. That says phase gold. It's not to worry, it's just a different name. And you just smelt that. And it becomes a vibrant alloy. You can do it this way. And that's how you can also get a vibrant alloy. Uh, energetic, sorry. What I'm just doing now is I'm gathering some of the resources. The main one I want to get is I could go Billcraft and find that's. Mm, it limits you at 10k. This limits you at 20. Or 22k? 20k, I'm going with. I want to aim for thermal expansion. Because they have a really good conduit. Thermal expansion, and it is this one Cryo Stabilized Flux Ducks. Which transfers infinite RF per tick. But it is a big process. Because you need cryo stabilized flux ducts empty, which requires redstone energy flux ducts, a bunch of hardened glass and fused quartz, or fused quartz, so you can choose hardened or fused, electrum. Which is a mix between gold and silver. I'll show you the recipe in a bit. Which then I need the redstone energy flux ducts to be filled with redstone. Destabilized redstone, which I get from a magma crucible or some way of melting redstone. And you need to make the redstone energy flux ducts, which is the empty, so the canister, in other words. Which you need electrum, which, like I say, is a mix between silver and gold in a one to one ratio. You can do that in the smeltery, you can do it with pulverizing it, grinding it, and to get the hardened. I can even 
I'm a nutter. It's on the next page. And sometimes mods are different. To get the fused quartz, it's four, 12 never quartz. Or you can use hardened, which is aluminum. Aluminum. L U M I U N. Never heard of it. And for obsidian powder. What the? I've never seen this before. Oh, one tin, two tin, three tin, silver, and there it is, glowstone. Jeez. That is definitely something I'll be automating. Wow. Never seen that in my life. That is surprising. Because I've played this mod pack quite a few times. Wow. You learn something new every day. And also, this machine has been going overclock, which I've got two platinum. And if I come into here, we also have platinum, platinum. Oh, we've only got broken platinum. Bet you it's in here. No. I thought I did. Whatever. That's what it is. Yeah, it breaks it, crafts it, breaks it, crafts it until I get the dust. Which has so far run quite well. So, as well as that, we need to start work on the love generators. Because we've got enough drums, we also need the conduits now. Which I might actually go into these. I don't know. Oh, that's redstone flux ducts. Oh, I'm trying to find a fluid duct. Uh, transfer rate varies by fluid, transfers redstone flux. Oh! Okay, now this is. No. Pressurized. A hardened flux flux. Invar. May contained, may be any temperature. Ah! Uh, okay. I was just going to go with this one. Copper and lead. It is quite easy to make. And I think I have the resources on hand. Maybe not the lead. That's quite easy. If I grab nine lead. And go around to the smeltery. I can just chuck this in and let it smelt. Turn in night. It's about the end of other reason I like it. Hmm. As you can tell, it's been a busy day. <laughs> that feels better. Now I'm more energized for the day. Anyway. Like I said, just come out here, chuck it in the smelt rate, and because I've got 9, it will double it and turn it into 18. It's just my luck that I have my first death on camera. After 18 episodes. About 7 hours work. And people may say... That's going to be the quickest, but if I show you, you can just shift click. It works the exact same. 
so I'm going to make for that to smelt up. Might as well craft some more iron. Because it's going to be one of those that I need. That lead should be done. Yep. So after these blocks are done, I'll convert it over. So if I hold it like that. It's just going to fill up. And yeah, now we've got some lead. And like I say, or said, I would and I will be building multiple smelteries eventually. Because then I can have certain ores pumped. Well, I want to have a smeltery for each ore eventually a bit optimistic I know but the way I'll be doing it is I'll be taking it out as soon as it's cut, uh, melted down and it's transferred into loads of different items so like I'll transfer it into a barrel which then gets transferred into a casting basin because that way I have a stockpile and that way I can have the smelteries literally one tall tower Yeah, you'll see in the future what I mean. So, for the conduit. That should be plenty. Transfer. Oh. Yep. the wrong conduit. Okay. Ah, I can still use it. Wait, lava isn't extremely hot. It's hot. I have to try it. Oh, I should have been... Ah. I probably would have been better off with a different conduit but I don't really have Invar oh Invar and lead uh, I should have made that no matter that is quite cheap I need copper, not copper, iron, and nickel. And it's two to one. Two, one, kind of dealio. So two iron, one nickel. Will get me, I think it's three ingots. So by the end of it I'll have, so I'm going to smell that, so it's 918, so I need to chuck some more iron in there. Ooh, this is going to be a first. Half a stack of iron should do. A bit optimistic. Probably don't need this much. There it just gets it going. I didn't even have to chuck it. Oh, okay. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I did not expect that. So, I'm going to cast this up. Uh, cancel, cancel. Okay, meant to press F5. That's F6 again. This is getting unbelievable. Anyway, I'm going to cast these all up. I'm going to get 
people well might as well drink so I'm going to this melt out of that out a bit and I have got a few resources so first things first hardened fluid duct this will help us transfer the fluid 54 of them these ones are probably use a different kind of like method we got the hand of fluid tucked next one I've already got one of these it's one tin free iron I actually accidentally made this off camera in here we got 24 lava generators these two are going to be the best don't have no kind of power but I'll explain why we've got this in a minute and we've got a lever so first things first I want to set these up can't use them at the moment that's alright so we're going to set the generators up in a quad pattern The amount of lava I'm going to burn through with this, I'm going to do it in the most efficient way possible. And I do like the Enderio conduits for one reason, one reason only. You can stack them in one block. That makes it a lot more efficient. But for where I don't have a lot of resources, take a bit of full damage, that don't bother me. These guys are going to be the like key to my survival. So then you go around, and I'm just going to look down, about there. I'm just going to take not that block. I can mine them quite quickly, or you can crescent wrench them. But the reason I got the crescent wrench, or crescent hammer, sorry, is a whole another reason. So if we take that all the way along, I'll head around to where I'm going to be putting them. that so shift right click shift right click but the main reason I wanted it because if you right click oh okay apparently I need a servo Okay, yeah, I do need a sofa. Serval. Oh. If I could do it right. And it's third, fourth, fifth. Here. Yeah. Okay, hardened servo which is iron iron redstone glass not bad I thought it would be a lot worse than that and then hardened is infar and iron electrum and iron what's this um don't think it matters Uh, 100%, 100%, I'll make a 
iron one. I don't need it to be that fast for the moment. I've got all the resources I need down there except from glass. So if I quickly run up here. I will quickly come around into this chest where I've got a tiny bit of glass made up. I think, yeah, I did. And I had some jacket potatoes or baked potatoes. I call them jackets. For some jacket potatoes for some reason. Don't know why. I just do. It's yeah, could be getting it from real life. I've got the redstone, I've got the iron. So it's an easy recipe to remember. And then I need the iron ingots there and there. Items, yeah, that's right. And then I come here, put the servo. And then we click. Might as well just set to ignore. There we go. Doesn't have to be that fast. But already, it's just filling up with lava. If I come down here, it doesn't bother me about taking full damage. Connect all that up. Already, but I'm just a bit slow. Yeah, it'll get there. But the only positive to having uh, multiple servos is the fact of I can do that. I think if I've got it right, nah, I hadn't. I thought you could connect it up to multiple, but no, you can't. That's quite easy though. Because I can use the fluid conduit from Ender.io. I need to get up a block. Uh, not glass. I oh, just use one of the drums. That'll do for now. I can set it to input on both of these. And then set it to. Uh, I won't put it there. The reason being, so it'll be in the way. Put it there and there. I can then set to extract. Whoa. And extract. Because that way, both of these. Getting topped up with lava. The lava's going round through the conduit. Well, through a duct. And going into the generators, which are. Now maxed out power. Like I said, I was aiming to get power by episode 20. And I haven't got power yet. I need to get the conduits to transport that. To wherever. Like I said, in the previous episode. In the previous episode, sorry. I want to hear your comments, just to let you, uh, can't speak for some reason today. I want to hear your opinion, do you want me to stay here till the season ends? Or would you like me to move, create my own place instead of living in a desert temple? So it's up to you for that. So, I've got still plenty of time left. I need to get ender pearls. Hopefully, I'm going to be doing a ritual. I need silk touch. 
which is going to be the main thing that I just majorly need because I need silk touch not just for my pickaxe but I need it for my shovel so I can get the cursed earth the cursed earth is a decent thing to have and it works over for the resources that you have apparently I've got the hiccups anywho like I say we need a silky jewel times two these things which is an emerald plus silky cloth that's going to be one of the hardest things to do so you guys haven't seen the mining dimension in a while and it's about time that I headed back there because it will be a bonus the reason I'm going back down here is I want to grab some equipment I want to grab my dolly I want to grab an iron block a chest and eight ingots of gold. But also, while it's on my head, I said about this loot recycler seven stone. An iron ingot and a chest. It is. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but you can kind of abuse it. I will just show you what I mean by abuse it. So let's say. I don't know. If I can even find it. There we go. You've overcrafted on a bunch of sticks. You don't have a use for them. Well, at the moment, I don't. Unless I were to go into farming. If you throw the sticks into your bag recycler, you can get loot bags out, which have certain items which may be useful. Any items that are not, you can chuck back. So, for example, the wheat. The bread was useful. I've got a saddle here. I know in some of the other chests I've got like, I think records. You can throw mob drops in there, for an example. Um, and I'm probably going to have a few arms I could chuck in there. Because it's, there is a limit to what you can chuck in there can't chuck anything and everything because that would just be insane but yeah I've got a saddle that I know I'm not going to use look at that I get another loot bag and this loot bag I get free and lily seeds oh my god I needed them an apple name tag not really useful at the moment um actually is useful because I'm gonna use them in the future. Nope. Well, that's for you guys. In the game, there is a few mobs. As you know, there is loads of hostile mobs and peaceful mobs. If you want your name to be an animal or a hostile mob, leave your name down in the description, give me a reason why, and any tips or anything, or it can just be a simple keep up the good work, 
any positive, we don't want no negative with the channel, any positive con um, yeah, I can't speak, any positive comment, so it could just be saying, keep up the good work, hope everything's going good on your end, anything, if I, I do read the comments, if I notice something, Nearly the random thing is just say, can I have a name, or can you name my name or gamer tag on this mob? So like with a skelly could be uh, rena renamed to Jake or anything. I want to get you guys involved with the world. Yes, I cannot open it to a server is sad but hopefully I can help by bringing you guys along for the ride by naming a few mobs and a few random things so for all those who subscribe to the channel if you leave a comment positive I will name a mob that you would like to be named some of them are going to be a bit insane, but yeah, it seems to be fun. Gives it a bit more of a challenge. Except Enderman and Ender Dragon are off the table because you cannot rename them as far as I know. Anywho, now I've done round then from about that, let's get back to what we were meant to be doing. So, if I quickly take you up top. Yeah, I still can't believe we've already got the first death. Up here. Oh, you can even see the dark oak from here in the corner of the map. Wicked. Up here, like I say. Oh, 0% and 14%. So it's definitely progressing. Um, yeah, you there. You there. And one there. I'll just move this torch here. These ender lily seeds are literally going to be my only way to farm ender pearls for the time being. So, as well as that, if I can get through the door. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but that's going to make it a lot easier. So, I'm just going to check this into the, the chest, grab some obsidian, which should be, there we go, that's for the hammer by the way, and yeah, let's head over to the mining world. There's not really a lot over here that I do. I do go mining, so on and so forth. Here's the bonus. It just gives me some stuff to do while I'm not recording. It's nice to do a tiny bit of like my etc. off camera. Eventually when I get quarries I won't have to do that much. But for the time being it is kind of just grindy. But yeah, I'm probably going to end it here, especially if the game crashes. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a good day or night, wherever you are. Please don't forget to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please do, because so far most of the viewers are non-subscribers. doesn't bother me if you don't want to subscribe or not. But yeah. Hope you have a good day, good night, wherever you are. I'll see you guys in the next one. Maxi, out.